As you can see, these lights have seen better days. In this one, I'm going to show you how to restore headlights to nice and see-through, basically like new condition. I'm going to be using a Meguiar's microfiber cutting pad with this new DA Fine uh, polishing compound from Rupes. On a Rupes LHR 75E 3 inch uh, machine polisher. And then I'm going to seal them with Crystal Serum Light by G Technic. This is a 3 to 5 year rated ceramic coating. Should hold up nicely. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is wipe these off and then I'm going to clay bar them because they're just totally filthy and nasty and I don't need all that stuff in my microfiber pad. Now with a microfiber pad, the fibers get matted down pretty quick, so you're going to want to use a comb or a brush or something to stand those back up. Also when you're doing headlights, it's really soft, so you want to not stay on too long. You don't want to put too much heat into the surface, and you want to make sure to use plenty of compound or polish so that uh, it doesn't gunk up your pad too quick and make it harder for you to complete the job. Alright guys, before you go ahead and coat it in crystal serum light ceramic coating, you want to make sure you use your prep spray and remove all the greases and oils from the polish. Prep your applicator with the crystal serum light. You're going to do two full droppers. Crystal Serum Light is pretty forgiving, so uh, at, when you're doing the application process, once you apply it, you can give it up to about five minutes, and then just remove it with a uh, application buffing towel. Not perfect, but they turned out pretty good. There's still a little bit of fogginess here, up top and down below a little bit. In hindsight, I should have wet sanded these first. So for next time, I know that uh, if I see a texturing like that, I should probably start with a wet sand. That's why I always say, There's a learning curve.